on this Plastic Paradise episode of the NES Pursuit. These prices so far are good. The Federation of Collectors head to a terrific toy shop that tops the rest. Look at this. Riff and Retro Rick battle it out over peewee wonders that warm the heart. I'm gonna do rock. I feel great. I don't know what to do. <laughs> now you've thrown the super <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm stressed. You're, you're by yourself out. Cabo's G.I. Joe desires start to deepen. G.I. Joe, a real American hero. Any addict feels his addiction transforming in other directions. <laughs> This is Milky Ricky, if we haven't told milky. you. The complex crew and their wallets are going to feel the pain. Oh, that's one of the... Probably, <laughs> probably with this, people now is going to understand me. Prepare for laughing lads, beast bargains, Alex Kidd confrontations, and so much more. This is the NES Pursuit. Grab it now, when you have the chance. You can get it there, you see the condition, it's worth doing. Buy it up now! Bye, bye, bye! So we are in South Carolina still awaiting the amazing upcoming Southeast Game Exchange, but for now, we've heard a lot of rumblings about a store called Toy Federation, so we're on our way there. Okay, refill. NES 8-bit music. Capcom or Konami? Konami. Capcom. With a little squad of people, because we are excited, we hear this place is nothing but amazing. We're on our way. Let's a go, as they once said in a Sonic game. There's Retro Rick. We get to that amazing store. Since we get there, you open the door and it's like, ah! Rifo, edit that part and do the ah! thing. I even like this. And your Those are game. some nice touches. We walk into this toy store and my gosh, it's the definition of jaw dropping. When you walk in there, it's one of those toy stores where you can tell it's not just like, oh, we got some on display right here on this little shelf. These, these prices so far, these prices so far are good. First of all, it's huge, but every shelf is like densely layered thick. This place is a thick boy with a lot, a lot, a lot of toys just if, there's a, if the shelf is this big, they're gonna find a way to jam like 50 toys in here and load it up with the craziest, most collectible stuff that people are looking for. Did I ever tell you I'm collecting or I'm trying to collect G.I. Joe's? Look at this. But also stuff, like I say, if you're looking for it, I'm not, because there's a lot of weird, goofy, oddities type stuff, huh? For an ES addict? This Y Ricky? All up in here, Toy Federation. So we're gonna go here. Even Gabo's here. It is what it is, I guess. But it, I'm at it. So anyways, the first, well, I saw a lot of to toys everywhere. Everywhere. Oh my God, dude. I'm overwhelming. Look at this, look at this beauty. So, the first thing that I saw that caught my eye was a shadow inspire spire empire <laughs> hated when I did my Schwartz twisted double figure but guess what yes I bought it but guess what Mr. NES Elite he did the disaster Ricky mistake and he didn't film it thanks for forgetting to press record hey it's okay. I'm, I'm a new I'm a new guy okay. it happens to me that day too so Rifo has to work that magic to show something. If it makes you feel any better, it's never happened to me. Mm. Makes yeah, me feel great. Out. Oh, let him look at me. I'm perfect.
some good stuff in here? Yeah, well, not only good stuff, like great prices. Look at this. This is what I'm thinking about getting right now. Put this down. Look at this ET boxed mac and cheese promo thing. 10 bucks in the box. Power Rangers wallet, 1995. Guess how much this is? 10 bucks. Five. That's, that's good. Just that's, the retail store. That's good. But that, that ET. Why did you do that to me? I you know, it. it's so cool because it's so quirky and odd. Yes. That's, that's the honest it's truth. It's literally sealed, like never been opened. In the store, and I knew this was going to happen, Retro Rick and I both see Pee Wee Herman stuff. If there's one thing him and I text each other about, it's regular stuff, but we text each other about Pee Wee stuff. Always, always talking about Pee Wee stuff. So I was like, hey, let's make it fair. When we showed up here, we saw a few things Pee Wee Herman related that we were both like, oh, we're both gonna want this. We're talking a uh, Viewmaster and a watch. We want both of these things. And I know, I know he loves these Pee Wee items because I love them. We like the same exact thing, which is pretty tough sometimes. Well, I've been I've been actually looking at this for a while. I think I texted you one time because I found it. I didn't know it existed and I just started, because I'm weird, I got on eBay and started looking up like different Pee Wee toys. There was a Pee Wee Herman Viewmaster, a beautiful one in an awesome box, a really, really cool one. And then a Pee Wee Herman watch, still in its little plastic hard casing. And we were like, these are both cool. We kind of walked up at the same time. How are we gonna decide who gets what? Uh, and we're both, we're, we're looking at these things and I want them so bad, we're like, how are we gonna, how are we gonna figure this out? Because, man, we both so badly want these for our collections. I have quite a few Pee Wee things. I know he does as well. And we're like, hey, good old fashioned rock, paper, scissor match. You wanna rock? No, when yeah. it comes to clocks. Uh -huh. There's this game that sometimes we play to see if you'll win or lose a, a time piece. If you recall, a while back, NES Complex and I, again, fighting for some stuff, did a rock, paper, scissor match to find, to, to see who's gonna get this Nintendo clock. So there I was a while ago where we went at it over a clock, a Mario, Mario clock, clock, which I'm still pretty salty about. Oh, I won! Woo! Poor guy. Try to be a good person so you don't make it worse. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was a good moment. So you saw when he won, so I think you should be the moderator. Didn't it work out so well for me? So I hope it's gonna work out here. Best two out of three, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. That's that's the order. If you don't think that's the order, you're a freaking psycho. I'm telling you, that's the order, okay? So rock, paper, scissors, shoot, two out of three. So two out of three? Yeah. So Retro Rick and I go up head to head. Here we go. Retro Rick and Riff going. Orange. Boom, boom, boom. Set. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, feeling great. I lose the first one. It's already going the way I expected. And then we go again. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Uh-oh. Who won? We tied. No one. Tie. And the tension's building. I'm like, I gotta at least get the next one right. Here we go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, rock. Paper. Scissor. Shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. You suck. Which one did he pick? What did he pick? And I smoke it. Like it's not even it's not even like a fun thing because I'm just so good at rock, paper, scissors, man. This is how this is how I am. You know, I grew up going to a camp. It's dumb. I, it's, I lost. And to be honest, I want the best. that's genuinely the one I wanted more. <laughs> I win. He thinks. He thinks I want the watch more. Not true. Well, I've been I've been actually looking at this for a while. I think I texted you one time. I wanted the Viewmaster, but I tricked him by grabbing the watch first. And he's like, I already know what you want. And it was what's not true, man. I wanted that Viewmaster, and I got I got the Viewmaster. I am not mad because I definitely very much want this, so I'm gonna I be buying. I want that too, but I just never seen. We this. should switch then. No. You should. You should. I thought he was gonna want the watch, which we both want, but I wanted the Viewmaster more, and that's what he picked. He got the watch, he's still happy because it's a, it's a sweet piece too, but we did walk away with two amazing Pee Wee items. So. Yeah, he got the E.T. box, which like has a, already made me a little salty. <laughs> it's like a smack in the face. I wanna burn it. Rock, paper, scissors right now, just let me have one match. Ready, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ready, ready? I suck, I'll never win. <laughs> do you? I really do suck. I do everything right. My name is Arifo. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, oh wait. <sighs> Oh, oh, oh. That's supposed to be me? Oh, yeah. Don't touch that dial. We will be right back. We've been doing this 
Well, I've been doing this for a living since 2003, and it's just the accumulation over time. And used to be in Toe to Mart okay. magazine, Lee's magazine, uh, Toy Shop magazine. So, I, I mean, I'll still get a phone call from an ad I did in 2004. My yeah. favorite, my favorite quote from this is when he goes, "He's like a dog or something." <laughs> <laughs> All right. So as a kid, back in the '80s, something that I thought was really cool was Battle Beast. Uh, I'm gonna get some Battle Beast. So we're in Toy Federation. There's this awesome little glass case with this amazing display of Battle Beast, and they all got their weapons. So I started to collect them for my son. Uh, basically because I want them, so I think I'm gonna purchase some more. The question is, which ones do I get? I'm digging this frog here. He's pretty cool, he's got that bright green color. And I see two that catch my eye. There's this really tall giraffe and this really bright green toad. This hippo guy, he's pretty sweet. He's got that nice blue. And so I've been buying these things for my son, obviously to live vicariously through him. All right, so I decided on the frog and the giraffe because this guy is wood and this guy is fire, so he automatically kicks the frog's butt. And so I pick out these two battle beasts and we make a deal. Fire beats wood. Those are both plastic. They're not fire or wood. Weird. Use your imagination. Okay. Niceness. Happiness. Shut up. The answer is all. Call Ricky. Sorry. We so, call. We got sorry. Rick. We, we got Rick. Rick is close to retro Ricky. Rick. Where my son. What a I don't know if I ever told you, I'm been collecting GI Joes, especially Cobra Commanders. GI Joe, a real American hero. They got like a glass with a lot, a lot of beautiful G.I. Joe. It's clean. It's missing the gun, but... Well, it runs on his back. Oh, really? Oh, better. There you go. So you gotta get it now, right? Yeah, of course. Mint condition. And the best thing is the price. 20 bucks? Amazing. 20? So it's 50. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and right in the middle, they have the Mel in Special Edition Cobra Commander. For my son! He the best thing is to hey, I've it. never tried that before. That's a good technique. If it was 20, I would have bought it. <laughs> it was 50 bucks, but i be honest, I'd be looking for that figure because I don't know if I ever told you, I'm collecting Cobra Commanders. Oh, I love yes. the Joe's, and I think this is a special edition. That's right. The no. one that the no. mallet, yeah. So, yeah, I grabbed that. I'm super happy. I'm a happy man. Mail away hooded Cobra Commander. 1983. That's a great score. And Rifu is gonna hate me for this narration. Of course. Look at his butt closely and you'll know. Oh, that's easy. In Discord. And. What the heck are you seeing right now? I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Yes. yes. FHE2 is probably my favorite, like, VHS oh, yeah. logo. Oh, yeah. TMNT. Yep. So another thing that's really awesome about Toy Federation is, like, they have every single 80s toy you could ever want. They have Thundercats. They have G.I. Joe. All right, so as a kid, I loved Transformers and I was a huge fan of Shrapnel. And they also have Transformers. Transformers. So in this case, I see this Insecticon. So, bam, picking up shrapnel, 20 bucks. That's not a bad deal, and he's really clean, which he's a robot, and he's an insect, and he's a Decepticon, so he is an Insecticon. His name is Shrapnel, he's this really awesome beetle, and when you pull his horns away, 
his little face pops out, and he looks awesome. All of his chrome's on there, and his gun's nice and shiny. It's gonna be pretty sick. And I used to have him as a kid, and he was my favorite Transformer. So, when I saw it, I knew that I had to take it home with me. So hey, Retro sure. Ricky. I wanna be cool. Rick. Rick. That was so. you trying so hard not to say, I knew I had he to have He pops out like Ricky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Milky Ricky, if we haven't told milky. you. So Retro Rick forgot to hit record. It was me. Didn't touch the camera, but it was me. For my son! So I have to admit, you know, may maybe, maybe it was just in my head, but you know, Rick got that Pee Wee Viewmaster. So my brain, I'm kind of, Viewmaster is probably implanted in my brain somewhere. The next thing we're picking up, I'm picking up, is a Viewmaster Gremlins. But when I look over the back counter, I got to admit, there's a beautiful Viewmaster, a Gremlins Viewmaster. Fun. What do you think? It's extremely interesting. The three-dimensional color pictures are extraordinary. I find these how-to-play football wheels very instructional. What I was saying a little earlier is yes, he has the Pee Wee one, which I like. I do? But <laughs> if you don't know what a Viewmaster is, by the way, because I know we talked about it earlier, these things came out in 1939, and they're basically little goggles that you can hold and click the button right here, but I like the orange one a little bit better because it looks a little bit brighter to me. It, it is nice, man. Where the accessory came in, which was a big part of what it was, is you would put in like a little rotation of some film, all in little circles like this, and when you click, it changes the scenery. Uh, a fact that I know, I've known my whole life, is that these came out That's in 39. 1930. It's 39. How'd you know they came out in 1939? You said it before. Uh, the first uh, time we recorded? C in 3D, well that's debatable if it's really 3D or not. But in reality, yeah, I looked it up on Wikipedia. 1937. You were wrong, actually. It's really cool to get. It's Gremlins, it's vintage, it's a Viewmaster, it's eclectic, it's nostalgic. Uh, hiding bomb. You're not, you're not Benjamin Button? He, he didn't born. <laughs> I didn't. I'm not that old, dude. This is the first item I have in my game room that's related to Gremlins. I never knew that. You just take these, you slip them inside of the Viewmaster, click the buttons, and you can look and see in 3D. Dude, minutes of fun. It's like probably seconds of fun. I do have a picture of Ricky Mikey. and Mikey. No, no. Yeah. They kind of look like gremlins. And Halloween, uh, Michael Myers, and, and I do like the gremlins. I remember it used to scare me a lot though as a kid, like a lot. I wasn't like most kids where I was like, it was funny. I was like, it was really scary. Hang on to your cereal bowls. We will be right back. We now return to the NES Pursuit. So, I see an item, as we're still here in the Amazing Toy Federation, there's too much stuff. It's almost hard to find, not to buy stuff. You don't know what you want to buy because there's so much. Hey, we both, yes. we both made out all right. We both, we both made out great. We did great. Now can you make okay. out? But I see this big Blanca Street Fighter II figure. So I'm gonna buy, you guys have probably never seen this before. This is a character right here called Jar Jar Binks. He's embarrassing. And I know that Ricky has this because him and Gabo did like some sort of trade or something in the past. So, no. So they have this Blanca Street Fighter, which we've seen stuff like this a lot before, but thing is, but it's the Blanca, big old Blanca, that's a G.I. Joe crossover. And this is something we were talking about earlier in the week, actually, Retro Rick and I. I'm not the kind of guy that I go to these stores and I'm like, let me Google each price. I always say, the value is in what I would pay right. to have this sitting. Condition-wise, I'm here. I don't have to pay for shipping. I don't have to hope on eBay. What I would pay to have it sitting like this in my game room. When companies do these crossovers of two big brand names, they just combine their powers to make something. In this case, Street Fighter, G.I. Joe. 20 bucks, absolutely. Crossover, Street Fighter 2. One of the mo most awesome games ever, and I love it. I'm a big Street Fighter guy. Let's be honest, G.I. Joe is always a little... For me, a little bit more about that red, white, and blue baby. Amen. So, right there. And, and I wouldn't say I'm a big G.I. Joe guy, but I am a huge America supporter. <laughs> Enter Eagles. <laughs> Spyroid. No! No! Put it, I'm going to put it next to my Street Fighter Third Strike cab that I have, you know, just to kind of have it displayed. I love America, and I love Street Fighter, so this is the perfect item. And by the way, I didn't even mention this yet. I probably should have because we weren't really mentioning prices too much in this video. 
place has great prices. I like his furry forearms. <laughs> just, just and imagine if my forearms were, were hairy, just like, like a little triangle, because that's, that's that's really what he's going on right there. So you must let shave it. Let that. me let me see. Grab it now when you have the chance. You can get it there. You see the condition. It's worth doing. Buy it up now. Bye bye bye. Wait a minute. Ow. <laughs> no. Hey, wait a minute. Guys, stop. Yes. Wait a minute. Yes. So, Street Fighter, G.I. Joe. Yes. And you got a good friend that loves boats. That's true. Retro Rick's over there. Yabo sucks at Street Fighter. Thank you. I'm glad I made that purchase. Oh. Ow! for bring me to this amazing store, dude. I never been in a toy store like that. What's his last movie? He did The Love Guru, and, the love and then guru. people that was stopped it. paying attention to him. The first time I ever went in that toy store, I thought, man, this place is so awesome, and I knew I was gonna have to bring you and Rip when you came to South Carolina. American hero. Dude, Rifo was telling me, he was like, dude, wait until you get there. And I was like, they got GIOs over there. Oh, shut up and wait, shut up and wait. You know how it's Rifo. I'm a man. What, what happened? What better way than bust some toys? So I'm just there, kind of hanging out with Riff, you know, kind of in the background. I don't really know what's going on. I thought it was just us. Like, yeah, that's and then someone says, hey, did you hear what just happened? And I'm like, what? What happened? I don't have a clue. So I'm like hanging out with Aaron over here, and freaking Retro Rick just walks in and buys my toys for me, man. That nice guy that he is, he bought all my stuff for me. He gave no, me no, this. no, go ahead. For my son! Remember that he got your toys at Toy Federation. Toy Federation? <laughs> That's, oh, wait. Oh. You bought my toys at Toy Federation yeah. for me. Like, what a guy, dude. Well, I mean, why, why not? This is the best toy store there is. Man, that was I mean, wow. I appreciate wow. that. Thank you, sir. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. Toy Federation is where birthday dreams come true. Because it was my 40th birthday. That's why. I feel like a for kid every, again. For every 40 year old. Instead of 40. <laughs> Toy Federation is while this is all going on, can. can I get anything off of these? <laughs> Dang, you don't look like you're 40, bro. Look at that. No, I'm like, what about me? Uh, probably I'm like 40, 40, 49. These? Yeah, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> How much for these toys? Yeah, right, right. <laughs> How yeah, much for not. these no, toys? Serious. It's okay. I'm happy. What's your problem? I love toys so much. My wife's like that too. She's like, she's I'm sweating like, here. This is like yeah. heaven. I don't know if I ever told you, I collect everything dark based. I'm so excited for this, man. Oh, that's one of the probably, <laughs> probably with this, people now is gonna understand me. And also, I need to learn English. The Star Wars Darth Vader. English translator? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> translate Scabo? <laughs> yeah. This, this Toy Story is so awesome that I found the perfect item to learn English. It's a mask that gives me the Darth Vader sound. So when he talks into that, he'll be like, <laughs> Thank you for you. Oh no, that's Robert. I don't know if I ever told you. It works! Happy man! Did you know every rose has its thorn? Yeah. It did. It did. It did. And they smell good. Sometimes. Bought. No, it's not junk at all. Look at all this stuff I bought. I mean, but it's not even it's great. It's it's eclectic too. But yeah, it's not like traditional action figures. It's well, and that's, tchotchke, which and that's is what the I like. stuff. Yeah, me right. too. That's the stuff both me me and Riff like is just like the Battle Toads figure. Like, you know, that's that? wild, man. So, I'm here checking out and Retro Rick's like, "Riff, I got an idea. I got an idea. Toy Federation, awesome doing deals, hooking me up, took like he went from 90 bucks to 75 bucks. My math is not quick enough to say what that is off. I'm gonna buy your stuff. But then Rick was like, I'm gonna ask you a question about Pee Wee's Big Adventure. He said it's gonna be hard. If you can answer a really hard trivia question about Pee Wee's Big Adventure. And if he can get this question correct, 
I'll buy, I'll buy his, his haul. I feel horrible, but I also don't feel like I'm gonna get it right because I feel like it's gonna well, be he's very, not out. He's not out anything. Anything if I'm he not gets out. It, if he gets it. But he's like, I have to make it hard or it's not gonna be worthwhile. You know, it can't be something simple. Like, let's, uh, the bike store owner's name, Chuck. So here's a question. Okay. Kiwi's Big Adventure. Yes. 1985? Yes. Tim Burton film, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So I'm like, <laughs> well, okay, I'm not gonna say no to this. How many items okay. does Mario offer Pee Wee? My good friend Pee Wee! Hi, Mario. We're in the, we're in the, yes, in the we're in the, in the magic shop. How many items were offered to Pee Wee Herman at the magic shop? So I start thinking, I'm like, okay, there's so many things. There's the night vision goggles, there's the, there's the trick go. Here. Would you care for some gum? Offering him is what's throwing me off because I don't know how, how many, many items did he actually offer him, but Pee Wee played with a number of toys. He did, he did, but apparently he offered him a certain number. And a lot of other things, so I'm counting, I'm counting. That's one of them. <laughs> this is good. That is good. Uh, I'm impressed. Trick gum, the ear, the x-ray glasses. I don't know if my brain wasn't working, but then again, this was a hard question. And I guess five or more. Oh, your, your straight face is killing me. I'm gonna say five which was completely wrong. So we pick a really hard question, uh, and he did not get it right. That Thanks for the offer, though. Anyway, that was fun. That's a good thing. You should do that more often. I like that. That is fun. Oh, we should do that on the you squad more. Up with me with yeah, I'll, get, I'll pay for, like, tax. <laughs> I didn't get it. To be honest, I was a little ashamed. Mm, now you him. actually owe him. This. Yeah. This. I felt grief and sadness and loneliness because I don't mind him not buying my stuff. Federation was beyond awesome. This place was like, as we said earlier, super mega huge, super dense, unreal, super cool guy. I, I honestly probably, I think I put a good five minutes into these as a kid. It's a great display piece. It is a great display piece, and it's all about display. Nothing could have been better there. Honestly, I, I, we showed Ricky, we sent Ricky videos, and he was just, I painted it. You painted that? Oh, it, it's yeah. pretty beautiful. Thank you. Can you paint yeah. me a portrait? I think he like had a meltdown because the computer started glitching or whatnot. I shouldn't do that. That's weird. <laughs> he also, this guy, does his own cons, his own expos. So I haven't been to one, but hopefully we come out to one. Hopefully you guys come out to one because this kind of stuff is what I feel like for us made us go and say, we've seen the biggest of big video game stores, but we haven't seen toy stores like this ever. There he is. Reset alert. I wonder how much I can flip these for on eBay. So Toy Federation, we'll be back. Probably sooner than later, because it's by where I bought a house. So, oh, you're leaving? Okay, everybody. I didn't expect you to leave so soon, but have a good day. Hey, do you want to, you want more videos? Should we quit YouTube? Come back. I bought one for my son. He gave no, me no, this. No, go ahead. Ahead, For my son! I'm the old one. I'm the old fart. That's how you guys say. No, any uh, complex. Do you see? Which one? All the way in the back. Try to get down lower. And I just got him leaning over a glass case. I would never do that. Like, who kneels down and looks in glass cases on every episode? <laughs> I wonder how much money I can get for these retro games here. Oh, trick gum. Um, Look at this pterosaur, but my favorite part about this is right there. Five bucks. Do you guys remember bucks? roses? You remember oh, I thought store? it was, dude, I, I really thought it was five bucks. No, it was five bucks. No, like, I meant like now. I was like, dude, yeah, that, that would be crazy, wouldn't it? What a wuss. You, they're pretty cheap at thrift stores. You should go. Uh, I Good need rolls. to go to Arkansas, apparently. Yeah, not here. We don't have any more. This is, uh, man. What, what happened with this? Wasn't it a That's thing? That's well, The thing about it was that um, he was in a movie theater one time, oh. and they took some photos that you can see in 3D. Oh, the ones from Pee Wee's famous uh, Jailhouse Rock video. Mm, this is the not rated Pixel Game Squad Pursuit of Happiness. This, this the Game Chasers? So bad you suck on Sweet Fire. I keep thinking that this should be an A, so it's called Eat. Oh, uh, Eat mac and cheese. I like it. <laughs> that would have been smart on their part, but that's <laughs> not what happened. Like, it's honestly, probably the manliest guy in South Carolina. Yeah, I've been to a uh, pawn shop, a thrift store, and two Goodwills. Nothing. Like, told literally, you. I'm telling you, dude. Nothing. I don't see fluffiness there, so. I think it's a big upgrade. <laughs> oh, Wayne's wiki. Yeah, Batman. 
Whatever. Mega Floyd, that's right. Yeah. Oh, what the damn. No, the other day, this is real. The other day, my wife goes, Who's it? You keep talking about Retro Rick, you're gonna help him and stuff. He's a buddy. She, I showed her you, her first words, she looks like he, she, wow. Well, he, he looks like yes. you and Ricky had a baby. Oh man, that's, that's the sweetest thing I've ever been told. When she saw him. Whatever. I always win. Yeah. And Darth Vader, too. <laughs> nope, I'm totally putting on there just so you know. Don't do it. Should I start this over? Nope. No, come on, let me. He collects a lot because of what we did back in the day. So if I would have never done a show, this moment would have never happened. He would have never gotten that. I would have never, he, I would have caught him slippery. I'm going to start over. I'll give you some nice touches. Oh, he's so nasty. All right, so I love, so I love, uh, geez, let me start this over. Well, I can fit those in my suitcase, yeah. I know that. <laughs> put them in your pocket and lock it. The more you mess up, the more I put it in. No, don't do it. And the more I prolong it. I almost interrupted you on purpose. Or, oh, I'll be here. Wow, I really cracked. All right. 